Hey, Louie here at Spectora. We're going to go through a quick setup of your automated emails and texts in this video. These emails and texts can be found in the Automation tab, so we're going to click that from your dashboard. It's really important to understand what will trigger an email or text message, so once you watch this video, you can enable the ones that you need and make the appropriate edits. So let's start here with our scheduling emails. Once you open the tab, you'll see emails from the clients, the client agent, and the listing agent. These emails will only be sent if you have a confirmed inspection. There are ways to schedule a non-confirmed inspection that don't send emails right away. I'll put a link in the description below for more information on that, but for the most part, most inspections that you schedule will be confirmed and will automatically send these confirmation emails and texts. Let's click Edit Template to see what this looks like. This is our pre-made confirmation email for the client that you can edit the subject line as well as the body of the email. You'll see that we have some placeholders in the body as same as we do with our agreements and these orange buttons on the right give you access to more placeholders. Really important is this inspection link placeholder. That's what the client will click on when they get into their client portal. And that's where they'll sign agreements and pay for their inspection and then look at their actual report. Once you make your edits, you can click the Save button at the bottom and that'll take you back to your automation screen. You do have automated text messages as well as you can use our automated text messaging format at no cost. And it has all the basics that you'll need including placeholders and a link to the client portal right here. Now by default, these text messages will come from a 720 area code. You can purchase a custom text number that will allow you to customize the entire message and where it comes from. I'll put another link in the description below to an article that explains that a little more. Okay, let's look back at the rest of these emails and what they look like and how they will trigger. Here's your rescheduling emails. Anytime you change the date or time of an inspection, that's on your calendar, it will trigger these emails. Here you can turn on cancellation emails. Anytime you cancel an inspection, you can send these automatically to your client. Inspection agreements and fees, super important. These will trigger if you add an agreement or if you add a new fee to your inspection that was already on your calendar. Let's look at pre-inspection emails. Each person has their own folder where you can look at their emails and you can turn on and adjust the timing of these emails maybe a day maybe an hour before the inspection starts and you can edit your template for those right here you want to make sure to include the links to their client portal if they need a reminder because they haven't paid or something like that looking down towards publishing this will be for clients or the client agent and whenever you click that orange publish all button that will trigger these inspection ready automated emails. Finally, we have these post inspection emails. It's the same concept as pre inspection emails. You can turn on these emails, you can customize the timing, as well as add some of these review links. Very common for inspectors in post inspection emails. You can ask for a good review on Google or Yelp. I hope this was helpful. Uh, these automation features can be really powerful and time-saving for inspectors. If you have any more questions, feel free to write us on the chat bubble in the Spectora app, or you can leave a comment on this video. Thanks, everyone.